Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video that should be pretty helpful to a lot of you guys. This is going to be how to boot your Windows PC much faster, in addition to allowing you to free up RAM, free up system resources, and in general, hopefully make your computer just a little bit speedier, and just, you know, just speed up some. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay guys, so I'm going to be showing you a very simple trick that should really speed up your computer um, and really speed up the boot times. Um, now this doesn't matter, uh, I recommend if you've never done this before, do it on any computer. It doesn't matter if you bought it today or if you've had it for five years, it doesn't really matter. Um, because this really um, kind of just keeps your computer from loading all kinds of programs that you really don't want it to be. Um, so it's very simple. It should be, I mean, just two minutes. You don't have to download anything. It's just really simple. Okay. Um, now, if you're running XP, I need you to open up Run. Okay. You know, just go into your Start menu and open up Run. Um, if you're running Vista or Windows 7, all I have to do is just hit the Windows key, and then you should already have the Start Search down here. Okay. So regardless of whether you an XP or Windows Vista slash 7, I'm going to need you to type in this. M S C O N F I G. Okay, punch that in and then open up the uh, MS config. Okay, now you will see a little system configuration window. Now, don't worry, this is going to be very simple. Don't worry about you know messing something up. Okay, so you're going to need to go over to the fourth tab, which is startup. Okay, now let's go ahead and just stretch it out. So, go ahead and stretch out the uh, you see the startup item so you can actually really see what you're looking at. Okay, now what we're going to be doing here is deleting some startup items. Um, now, to kind of explain what I mean by this, um, what it does is uh, many programs, when they're installed on your computer, whether they came installed on your computer or you downloaded them, like iTunes, etc., will want to run automatically when you start up. Sometimes this is good, so you know you don't have to actually open something up. It's already running in the background as soon as you turn on your computer. But the problem is that takes up not only your time, you know, it could take 10 seconds to load up a program that you might not necessarily be wanting to open, and you might not ever even know about it. And two, it also can s s just gobble up RAM, um, it can, you know, slow your computer down. I mean, sometimes there's programs um, that you really didn't know that you had or you don't really need. And the thing is, you don't, you're not deleting the programs. You're just not having them automatically open. That what all it is is that if you click, let's say, like you have iTunes not start, then it, iTunes won't start at the beginning when you boot your computer. But if you click iTunes, it'll come right up. It's just that you're, instead of you know spending two or three minutes loading all these programs when you first turn on your computer, you're loading them after if you need them. Okay, so now at this point, um, you're gonna just go ahead and just deselect as many startup items as you can safely. Now, some obviously are going to need to stay, like Windows Defender, um, you know, some different things like audio and you know different drivers and that sort of thing. Like obviously, you know, you don't want to deselect Windows operating <laughs> system; <laughs> that might be bad. But you just go go down through. Um, go through stuff that you know. If you don't know what it does, if you, I mean, you know, some things like you know, uh, like this control center which runs graphics, that sort of thing. If you're not 100 percent sure what it is, you might just want to leave it alone. But you come down here, um, like here, I've got this backup thing I don't really ever use. Um, this power DVD program, I don't need that. Uh, QuickTime, I don't need that. Um, you know, Steam, um, my web my webcam program none of that stuff I really need when I boot up my computer if I need to I can open it and run it up but I don't need I mean I'd much rather you know save 45 seconds by not opening any of these programs and just you know open one or two and you know wait an extra two seconds for them to load so anyway guys that was just a really simple video on how to speed up your Windows PC booting as well as just general day-to-day -day use um, you know, it's really simple. Uh, I know some of you guys might have already done this, but it's a really simple way to really not only speed up your computer, but just, you know, quit load spending all this time and all this effort loading all these junk programs that you probably don't even need. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.